Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. In this episode what I'd like to do is some of the um, draconian OP stuff. So I needed some prosperity shards and I went off to the nether and got lots of prosperity all and I basically broke 13 blocks and it gave me one stack and 19 um, prosperity shards which was great especially with the look three pickaxes which is pretty essential really for that stuff saves you a lot of work so let's get on and start doing this I've also prepared something else which we'll have a go at uh, later on so what we needed for this was some 16 draconium if I remember right let's have a look at the start from the beginning go back to the quests here so overpowered so what we need to do first of all is to make some draconian cores we need to make 16 of these so uh, so let's look at the recipe for draconian cores um, Put that in front of that, otherwise it won't work. This one. So that's two supreme ingots, block of diamonds, and two blocks of gold. We'll make one core in the empowerer. Okay, supreme ingots. We need sixteen, so we need thirty-two of these. So let's start making this. So let's got thirty-two iron with prosperity odds. We'll make a base essence ingot. Okay, do the same thing again. This time we make some Inferium ingots and again Prudentium ingots. All I'm doing with this is basically going across like that. And we carry on doing this until we've actually got two Supreme ingots. Doesn't take too long once you've got the materials. And I've basically got full chests of. Let's try again. <laughs> it doesn't work right click oops right click and put them in there so now we've got our 32 supreme ingots we need 32 blocks of no 16 blocks of diamonds and 32 blocks of gold let's go and get those gold shouldn't be too much of a problem no nope, plenty <laughs> and diamonds not too bad so we want 16 don't we That's 16. Yeah, good. So we don't need as many as this. We'll halve those. So let's go and put those into the Empire. I think. Let me just check the recipe again. I think diamonds go in the middle, don't they? So let's split this up. Let's make sure I've got my magnet turned off or away so we don't pick up everything. So 16 of these, 16 of these I think it's diamonds in the middle but I'm not 100% sure uh, 16 two blocks of gas it'll be diamonds in the middle won't it 16 and 16 and diamonds in the middle and sure enough that's going to work well it looks right so if it doesn't work the recipe doesn't work at all and I should have a chest beside this so while those are being made that's a good question. Ah, what have I done with my chest? I, <laughs> I think the chest is underneath here somewhere. I've got a hopper here. Oh, I've got a hopper. Let's just go and get this stuff in here like this. I'm not sure how much power we need for this, but it should be okay. We shouldn't have a problem. Where's the hopper pointing? Somewhere else. Okay, well, let's just put these blocks back. I think we can access the hopper from here. And oh, no, I'll leave the blocks here. We can access the hopper. Oh, we can't access the hopper from here, can I? No. Empower. Let's do that again. <laughs> or I can actually access the hopper. It doesn't matter if you stand in the way of these things, it doesn't hurt. So we've got two cores. Great. And if we need more power here, well, I can get. Oh, it's just keeping up with the power, so it's not too bad by the looks of it great so here I have got a this and what I'm doing with this is actually turned off at the moment so this is actually got we can't really see can we let's just uh, get rid of these a bit can I if I get rid of that can we see uh, better here yeah we can we can see this is going down 
and it's at 90 is it 100 percent i'm not sure why it actually got 200 percent shouldn't have done but what i'm doing here is setting up at the back here with these are redstone connectors here so this one's on because this one is set to being above 80 percent power in the system so if the output energy is above 80 this will go on so the idea is this turns the uh, engine off or the reactor off and this one here is below 20 percent and when this goes below 20 percent then the idea is to turn it on so what i'm using here is an rs null latch the famous rs null latch and i can't find one in the pack if there's a small more compact version of it but it's fairly straightforward basically we'll simulate that so this one here is the oops wrong block this one here is the above 80 percent like this and this one here is the one that's below 80 percent 20 percent and all you need is some redstone torches which i've got two that's all i need just two like that and then the what and then the redstone goes over the blocks like this and basically that's it that's your register and that's your null latch so the one that's 20 percent i want to bring across so if you just bring it across like this we can see it better that's the one that connects into the reactor so for instance at the moment these are both off okay so when it goes below 20 percent this this goes on and it starts to get power and as soon as it goes above 20 percent it goes off again so that stays on so it's still got the power onto the reactor. On this side, when it reaches 80% or more, this goes, this goes on until it goes below 80% and then this goes off. So this stays off until, of course, the 20%. That's all I'm doing over here. And I have a, a little repeater here. So because I think this, when this is on, it actually gives you a signal. Let's go and have a look at that. The repeater basically acts as a diode so you don't get, that was a long way around wasn't it so if i turn this on like that you'll see the power going up and i think what's happening here oh, oh no it doesn't sometimes i thought it i gave me a signal so i put a repeater in here to block the signal going back let's just turn that off again and then it'll turn itself off as it as it goes as the power goes down and the power goes down reasonably let's have a look again actually it's not doing anything at the moment all right yeah, now it's going down that's yes, because it went below 80 percent and this solar panel i think is working but i'm a bit confused about this because it says all uh, right now it's night time so it's saying the zero fe per tick and as you can see it's night time and what does this thing 1745 night time i don't think this clock on the above the mini map is anywhere near correct it says it's 1752 night well it looks to me like it's coming towards morning but i don't know we'll see in a short while but i think that's rubbish anyway so these should be getting done so what kind have we got now 12 13 good so we can actually no yeah we just need to get 16 of these don't we well, i could do of course put chest down here let's just do that while i'm thinking about this and these are getting made i'm going to open the chest without having to dig up the floor the chest will be in here i think i've got some chests in here nine let's get rid of everything i've gone with i don't need basically red zone let's just put the chest down here and the chest will start to get the core straightened oh, i've got them up and i go and then we can fill in this hole down here there we go that must be the must be the last one now yep no more in there so they're quite expensive these decronium ores in terms of everything we've got but actually not without not too difficult at the moment and there we go so 
that should complete the quest. We should get the quest completed for Draconium. Let's have a look at that. Doesn't look like it's working. I couldn't upgrade my pack, but the incomplete 60 detect. Consume no, that's good. Oh yeah. Now if I come off that, it should it uh, hasn't updated the core. Why not? Let's press F4 and claim that. You see, I can claim it now. It's complete. Let's go back. See, this is now complete draconium cores, and then that enables us to go to wyvern cores and also to make these inserters, which is what we're going to do next. <laughs> That's a bit strange. I don't get that quest back at all. It's telling me there should be some stuff. Let's oh, of course, because I've got edit mode. Ah. Yeah, that's my that's my mistake. I was testing something out because I was having a problem with upgrading, and I can't upgrade to dot twelve for whatever reason. I have no idea. Admin edit edit mode off. So now I should have seen the quest being updated. Um, oh yeah. See, but I was looking what else was, could be done. I think I was actually looking for the Twilight Forest. So anyway, so the next one would be this one, basic fusion crafting. So we need to make 12 fusion crafting injectors. So let's go and have a look at how we do this. That's this one. So we need some draconium blocks, our draconic cores, two diamonds, and chisel stone, just chisel stone. Uh, block of iron. Okay, block of iron. So we need twelve of those. Let's do that. That's twelve. Yep. That's right. Let's open up this loot chest. What do we get? Mum spaghetti. <laughs> Rare. What's that got? It doesn't actually have to give you that much stuff. It's a con tinker's construct. <laughs> and you need some red sauce. Right, very good. <laughs> That's a funny one, isn't it? Right. Um, what do I need? Diamonds. I haven't called blocks of iron, chisel stone. I think ordinary stone will do. Oh, draconium ore. So we need three times. So we did ni 96 draconium ore blocks. I might have got that prepared actually. At least I've got some prepared. 36. Um, that will give me 12, won't it? It's not, not quite enough. But we've got some more draconium essence. I th think this one. That will give me another 64 blocks. Let's go and make those into. Oh, actually, the easiest way to do that is to use the indexer. I'll have to go running around then. Right, click that and then type the uses of this. Yep, we get 64. So that'll give us another seven blocks. Let's do that again. Okay, let's do it again. The uses of this one. That's 14 blocks. It's going to take a while actually. I probably should do this off camera. There's a bit of lag as well. <laughs> Let's try again. What we can also do, of course, is this. That lag is awful when it does, doesn't it? The rest will be for this one. 21 57 oh we need oh actually 36 is enough I can't count I'm wasting time sorry right so we should be able to make 12 of these things exactly right so just ordinary stone will do fantastic 
having extra draconian blocks doesn't really make much difference does it we just make some more these get rid of those because we can always split it back up again no big deal so that should have completed the quest basic fusion crafting fantastic so now we actually need to set this stuff up have I got another plug I need another flux plug I think Yeah, I've got a flux point, I mean, not a flux point. So we can actually power this stuff. I have never played with this, and I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. So, so, if I remember rightly, we have to, from a video I saw, we put these down. And I think we have to connect these up. Oops, not like that. Let's the shift click them on top. Oh. Oh, I just didn't put all 12 in there, I guess, have I? Huh. How do I get that again? Right click them. Okay, good. So we have to shift right click these around. And I think we have to put the inject, the bit in the middle. Let's just go and get a block. Let's put that down here. I think this is how it's going to work. So we put a block down here. And then we've got our fusion injection thing. And then where's it gone to? might have that with me or it might still be in the chest I think it's still in the chest isn't it I'm just going to get it out of the chest this is new I've never done this as I said before so I know it'll be in this one won't it here we go fusion crafting core and I think this needs at least eight and all of these need to be powered so we put it down like that and we can break away this one in fact it might even be not high enough it might it should be probably better for it higher let's go and jump on it anyway let's put some more cores down here uh, injectors I mean and that one's actually going up why <laughs> that was going up too it's weird do I have It's really weird, isn't it? We can maybe we can turn them. Not with that, I can't. Okay, let's break them. I guess pickaxe is right. Yep, just break those three. So how do I get those to face this? Stand here and do it. Let's just see if that works. They don't stack when you put things down. Have you noticed that? Oh yeah. Well, my guess is I can put them down like this as well. And I think there is a distance, and maybe these are too far away. That's two blocks away, and all these are one. So let's give them some power and see what happens. I'm just thinking about that as well, actually. Let's just put this point down here um no let's go and get the some have i got some redstone cable i'll tell you what we'll do we'll make some more of these i can make three more i think let's do that lots of redstone i need don't i Pieces of this. We can make three of these good, and then we're left with one. So, if we need any more, we have to make some more of those core things. So, what I'm going to do here is just going to put one on each one of these. If this don't work. I'm going to have to look it up how to do this because I ain't exactly sure. And then we'll put some cables down here I've got 12 let's do flux ducts yeah that looks like it's going to connect eh? and I know this needs absolutely tons of power so these cables are probably not adequate but they might be enough to start with like that. 
So now we need our flux configurator and right click these. Try again. So we right click the middle of this. Good. Fusion crafting. What happens if I put a decronium core in there like that? Nothing. I think I've got this wrong. <laughs> well, that's not surprising, is it? Injectors. Oh, I think I have to put the things in front of the injectors. So we need a recipe. Let's have a look at a recipe. So, for example, to make an awakened draconium ingot. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to our draconium cores here and look at the uses of that one. So we can make various bits and pieces with this one. Uh, the fusion crafting is the one that we could do. So there's 28 recipes. Okay, now um, that would need a cunning bit core to make that one upgrading, I guess, is it? Let's have a look what else can we do. I would like to get to the point of being able to basic tier. We've only got basic tier at the moment, so because we haven't upgraded this yet, we this would also need to be upgraded. How do we do a sword of Vivan, for example? So we need a Vivan core. So that's okay. So we need two Nether stars, and this is where we need our eight. Let's see if we can do this. So we need one, two, three, four, five draconic cores. Two blocks of draconium and two nether stars in a four by four pattern. I'm just wondering if this is going to work. Let me just break this. So maybe you have to do it four by four on the top. So pickaxe. Where did that go to? Out there. Let's do this one as well. Let's just try that over these, over this side. Hopefully that'll do. And then we just need some to power this up. Let's just get this. So I like the first time you do anything. The first time you do it, it tends to go wrong. Which is actually part of the idea of my series is not to be perfect, which is probably a very good thing. So, now what did we need for that? Draconian cores, I've only got four, but I've got plenty of blocks of the other one. So, I think what we have to do is put. Ah, oh, yes, I've split them up, don't I? I remember there was one at the bottom, like that. I think there's one. Let me just check the recipe again. So I need to do I was doing it from the uses of this, wasn't I? But I don't really want to do that. I wanted to do it from the sword. The recipe from this. So we need a, a wyvern core. And the recipe for this. Ah, so maybe we need, need five on one side and four on the other. Okay. I think. I'm not sure it has to be in exactly that level, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see what we can do. So maybe that's why we need 12 cores in the first place. So let's go here. Can I reach that? No, I can't. I can from here. Ha! <laughs> nope. I've pressed shift to go down. Okay, let's put some blocks up here. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, you now got it. Good. Right now, I can stand on this. Well, almost could stand on it. Right, try that again. That's five on that side, and I can presumably make. Let's just break all these three here. I'm not ex sure about this, to be honest with you. 
Oh, and it fell down. Let's get my magnet back into place. Good. I've had to leave my magnet here. So that fact will do six on each side. Maybe that's the idea of having twelve. Like that. Then I can break away this stone. So we just need some more power up to these. What did I just do? Right clicked it on here. Every time you right click it puts whatever you've got into your hand here. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. Press it on here like that. Try that through this side. Good. So let's try that again now. So then we've got, I think it was two Dukoni blocks here and here. So the middle one was a core, that was a block, and the top one here was a another block, core, and a block. Then we need two nether stars, a block of emeralds, and two more draconium cores. Uh, we've got draconium cores, now where did I put those? Here, good. That was through one of the rewards, which saves a lot of a lot of time and quite a lot of resources. So we've got some nether stars up here. I'll have to start put, growing some nether stars as well, I think. And um, one block of emeralds. So this is not a cheap recipe, that's for certain. So now, if I remember rightly, it's, I think, a draconium core. Here, and here, and then another stars. Here, and here, and then in the middle of this we put in a block of diamonds. And she recipes. <laughs> Ah, oh, indeed, it's not working. Well, what have I done wrong? Let me just check that recipes again. Draconic cord, da, da, da. energy 9 million. Well, I think that's right. A block of emeralds. And it should just make itself. I Is there anything wrong here? Except for this is two blocks away, and I don't think that should matter too much. Well, well there we are then. I'm going to have to do some more research. Well, that's not very convenient, is it? Right, I shall go and do some more research. In the meantime, I'll remove this one. We don't need this anyway. break. That's weird. That's very strange. I get what's going on there. There's some things which happen happening that I, I'm not understanding at the moment. This has got power, I guess. Let's just check it. It doesn't say it's getting any power here. Presumably that's because it doesn't need any. And these? Yeah, these have got 25,000 RF in these two. It's also saying the same thing about this, if I remember. Let's sort of right click that. No, this one. It's, go it's not using any power. I don't ask me why it should be. Because it should be mining away. It's going to check in here. Oh, it's actually now very difficult to see whether or not I've got any at all. I've got three prosperity shards at last, that's good. And we've got some lithrite crystals. And this is about the only way we can get the next tier up. Because um, there's no uses of the, well, there are, but there's, for the next tier of these things up here, um, can we have a look at the uses of this one? 
erodium and the only recipe for erodium is by making it from a void ore miner using um, a clear lens maybe I should get a clear lens going out in here and you've not got a big chance so it's going to take a while to do that so let's actually make sure I use a clear lens because I think that's a good thing to do anyway so I've got enough prosperity shots now so I don't really need those now did I put any clear lenses around in here I did it'll probably be in this chest thinking about it well that's I must have a clear lens somewhere also just being blind of course that happens from time to time just can't see things that are in front of your nose ah, I can't see well let's just make another one Just an H of glass, so it's not exactly expensive. Clear laser lens. So I'll carry on to work now, I think. So come back in a second see if I can figure this one out well I've rearranged it and it sort of think it might work now so let's have a look so we first of all we're going to split these things up I don't seem to, basically it's got to be in a three by three so you've got to have nine on each side so we need four four of these cores let's just do it like that uh, I suppose, oh, might as well put the em emeralds in first so you've nothing on the sides here but on the side each face has got up to nine uh, injectors so six and six so therefore we can then go and do this I think it doesn't really matter where you put these things even though it tells you the recipe is slightly different so let's put those in there like that so we need two nether stars on one side and then we need one four blocks wasn't it no it's just two blocks and I think that's everything we need. Let's look. And sure enough, it's working. Look at that. Let's click the start button. Stand back. <laughs> little, little lightning bolts now. Oh, and you get these things which are covered up. That's good. I mean, does it tell me the progress? 31% is actually working reasonably well. 36%. Let's go back over here. The reactor's off. How much power has the reactor going? It should go down to. It's going down fairly fast, so that means it's using up quite a lot of power. It's using 3000 RF per tick, which is presumably the maximum for the leadstone energy duct, so I presumably need to upgrade that. Oh, look, those bubbles have got bigger. 78% so I think a oh, while with while I was doing that, let's open up this chest I'm sure it's a uh, one of those interesting ones 12 certified experience yep <laughs> oh now they've moved into the middle <laughs> should also complete the quest, shouldn't it? Bam! One Myvan core, fantastic, look at that. Look at that then. So, quest completed. Well, I hope, nothing this way. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It, it was an interesting one. In fact, let's actually let's quickly go and, uh, no, I'll do that next time. Open the loot chest, not gonna be exciting, is it? So until next time, Bye for now.